The Georgian Bay area is one of the largest apple growing regions in Ontario. The main reason for this is the microclimate created by two main features. The most significant of these features is the Georgian Bay, a large deep body of water. The Georgian Bay has a moderating effect on the air temperature which reduces the chances of late spring and early fall frosts. The second feature is the Niagara Escarpment which forms a southern protective confining boundary to contain the moderating microclimate to the fertile soils near the bay, allowing the apple trees to thrive. Apple harvest typically begins in mid-August and goes through to the end of October. We harvest the apples at different times because the different apple varieties ripen at different rates. Each apple is hand-picked and put into a bin. From there, it is shipped directly to a juice processing facility or to a cold storage facility for short-term use. The controlled atmosphere storage means that we can get fresh-pressed apple juice on a year-round basis. At the apple processing facility, the apples are washed, inspected, and then milled into a chunky applesauce consistency. The chunky applesauce mixture is pressed and the juice flows through fine mesh tubes called socks. The juice then goes to a temporary holding tank in preparation for filtering. The filtered juice is then pumped into storage tanks where it is refrigerated down to zero degrees Celsius. The refrigerated juice undergoes quality assurance testing. Once the quality parameters are met, the juice is shipped via tanker or totes to the Thornbury Cider House to undergo fermentation. The refrigerated apple juice is pumped into our stainless steel fermenters where we'll undergo fermentation. We use a champagne style yeast to enable us to obtain a crisp, clean flavor. At the end of fermentation, we transfer the young cider to our aging tanks where it will undergo another four weeks of aging. The aging process allows the cider to develop more depth and complexity. The aged cider is filtered into the blending tanks to remove yeast and other microorganisms. The cider is chilled to zero to minus two degrees Celsius and then cold sterile filtered to remove any impurities. After this process, the cider then goes to the inline carbonation system where it is carbonated to the proper level. Carbonated cider goes through cold sterile filtration once again on its way to the keg machine, the bottling line, or the canning line. If the cider is going to the bottling line, the clear glass bottles are placed on the bottle labeler. The cider bottles are then filled under pressure. They go to the capper. From the capper, they are rinsed with water to remove any cider residue. If the cider is going to the canning line, the empty cans are inverted, ozonated water rinsed, carbon dioxide purged, filled with premium cider, lids are applied, and the lids are seamed onto the can, date coated, and placed into trays. I have been with the Thornbury Village Craft Cider House since the beginning in 2007. My passion is to craft ciders that express the best characteristics of the fruit with all natural ingredients. Our premium apple cider was crafted to be an easy drinking cider. It has fresh, light apple aromas and flavor and is delicately balanced between the acidity and sweetness. We hope you enjoy. Cheers.